<coughs> so these are um, the actual JPEG compression is um, different from GIF compression in as much as it is lossy compression. What is called, it is perceptually faithful to the original, but it has information reduced. Now this is it's a very this is a very different idea to GIF compression, which is GIF compression is dictionary type compression. JPEG compression is actually taking out information which it believes your eye will not be able to recognize. Okay. Okay. Now, for example, the human eye is much better at seeing gradual changes in color than in seeing sudden changes in color. So, for example, so if you had one image which is all blue and it has one little white dot in the middle of it, the human eye probably won't see that white dot. Okay, you just won't see it. So, let's get rid of it. That I mean, that's a very that's that's a very simple simplified way of representing what happens in, in JPEG compression but that is basically what it does if it thinks you cannot see it it removes it okay okay GIF on the other hand is lossless compression there is no loss of information between the 256 color original and the GIF image itself okay we can always we can take a GIF image and after compression we can work out what the original looks like okay with a JPEG you cannot after after it's done its work you cannot get back to the original because the, the, the information is lost. Okay, so that's the major difference. Okay, with a, with a JPEG, if you ever use something like Photoshop, you'll notice that you can have different quality of JPEG. You have a different, what is called a Q factor. Um, you know, often expressed between 1 and 100. In Photoshop, particularly, it is between 0 and 10. Okay, and it says what level. Of you know of, of of quality do you want okay that's and that means how strongly it implements its compression algorithm uh, now German I, mean, I won't I won't go into very much detail because the JPEG encoding process is really horrible I mean it is phenomenally complicated it is nasty okay um, you have a color space transform and down sample. What that means is, you know, there are, there are different ways of representing color. What we've I've spoken about today is RGB, okay, okay, which is kind of red, greens, and blues. But there is also for printing, which do you know what you use? CMYK, CMYK which is kind of cyan, magenta, yellow. yellow, and black. That's right. Which all these colors represented together, which which have to represent a color. There is also another one which is called. Yeah, luminance, red luminance, blue luminance, and that's right, that's right, that's right. Good. But I can't remember exactly what what it would, what they what they call. But the 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 light value is the most important of those, and I think the red and the blue luminance are not so important. And what it does is is it takes for every set of four pixels, it takes two of the values for each pixel. But for the other one, it only uses the whole four pixels because the human eye is not so sensitive to that. Okay, so that's what it does. First of all, it kind of reduces the information it needs to compress. Then it does what is called a discrete cosine transform, which means you turn it into a mathematical model of basically of waves in the image. Then there is, after that, there is quantization, so those waves are reduced even further to another kind of a thing. And then after that you have an, another form of this kind of dictionary compression called Huffman encoding on top of that. And when you put all four things together, that is how you can get these gigantic reductions that you get in often photographic images. Whereas GIF images can only really cr you know, condense cartoon images very well, JPEG can condense highly photographical images very well. So even if there is very kind of different colors JPEG can still reduce it massively. And often, sometimes, you'll find that JPEG has more difficulty reducing things like cartoons than it has in rep reducing things like photographs. It's just because JPEG is a much more mathematical model based on a model of human perception, as opposed to GIF, which is much more data, classical data compression. Okay. As I say, 
The human eye responds more to changes in levels of brightness than in changes in particular colours in adjacent pixels. That's right. The eye is more sensitive to gradual changes in brightness than sudden changes. That explains this: the kind of um, the red chrome, the, the chrominance and, and colours are reduced, but the lightness remains. Okay, for for that. 